welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. We're kicking into earnings season in a big way. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement and create a new one. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market boys, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up five, NASDAQ up two, S&P's up uh, five and a half, gold contract up four dollars and ten cents, trading at 1,750 an ounce, silver. Up 22 cents at $33.18 an ounce. Platinum up 21 at 1664 an ounce. Copper up four and a half pennies at 374 a pound. Light sweet crude flat at $92 a barrel. Bonds down a point and a half at 146.20. King dollar down 38 ticks at 7907. That's going against the slows. It does have lighter volume, but it is going against those lows. Euro up 71 ticks. Trading out at 131.24 and the yen up nine, trading out at 78.97. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You're up six bucks. You did uh, 625 million shares. And she wants to go tag. We're at uh, 1460. She wants to tag that. Uh, she can take the 1470. 1470. Last two highs you had up here, they couldn't hold. 1474, folks, was the high from the night, uh, 14th of September. The second one was up here, was the 1470 from the 5th of October. Uh, no juice up here. Um, we had juice when we came down on the 25th of September, as well as the 9th of October. And that's when you were hitting uh, into the, it did have strength on September 6th. Dow Industrial, same setup in the Dow. What you have with the Dow, you get a flat market out there today in the Dow. Um, you're at 13,557. And the way that is set up is that that can absolutely go in there and uh, go tag the high once again, which is the 13,361 uh, from the October 5th level. Uh, inside the Dow out here today, you know, we, you, let me tell you, even though the Dow is uh, flat, um, it was pretty impressive just because IBM has such an huge waiting structure inside the Dow and IBM folks just got toasted and roasted uh, down 10 bucks volume came out of the stock 12 million shares uh, in IBM's case you're at 200 and any close under the uh, weekly or uh, monthly under the 210 area is going to drive that stock down to 183. Now is that composite what we have the composite is this composite still weak big time uh, composite was uh, up 2.9 today. We did uh, 1.7 billion. You're going against 1.9 billion. The, the composite just doesn't have the traction. And of course, what that's all about is good old Apple. Between the composite folks uh, and the NDX 100, Apple is the name of the game. And what Apple did, rejected higher price, did it on lighter volume. Apple's going to go after that low that was established out there on the 9th of October, which was 623.55. And we'll see uh, the way it is set up right now, it very well possibly can be a monster ABC down. It had already done one ABC down off the highs. They just set up a second one. Now, the second one, well, conservatively, the second one would be like, say, 74. It'd be a 50.80 A to B. That would put it, you at uh, 600. So conservatively, it's a 50.8 A to B. Um, you want to stretch it out. <laughs> you stretch it out, and it's it's uh, it's a monster actually stretching it out. Stretching it out to an 80 point A B C, and the 50.1 comes off the swing point from October 4th. The the longer one, of course, comes off the swing point right from the highs. Bond market. Let's go. Over, well, here let's go to American Express first. American Express just come out with numbers. American Express closed at 59.37. It's trading at uh, 58.90. This is how the numbers go. They made their bottom line number. A dollar nine was their estimate. They they took in a dollar nine. Let's see. Uh, top line number. They were a little shot on. Uh, top line number goes like this. Seven. They were looking for 7.89 billion. They took in 7.86 billion. No big deal. Uh, right now that is trading flat though. Uh, 
maybe down 50 cents. Uh, eBay is going to be coming out. Let's see if eBay come across with anything yet. Uh, nothing on, on eBay yet, just yet. Uh, bond market. Let's go over to the bonds. We take a look at bonds. Okay. Bonds today. We came down. Now, this is, this is pretty intense, actually. Um, we came down with 394,000 contracts. You're going into 500,000 contracts. Um, you know, what we did do is that we took the swing point out that from the last swing, swing point was 147.11. You took that out with volume. Um, that's saying, you know what, bottom line, this, this, this is, we're into the bar, 147.20, yeah, we're into that bar, man, that, that can go after the, the last low that was established out there, which would be uh, quite a way down, actually, it's, it's two more points down. Um, it did two points in two days, though. Uh, now, that, that swing low has 513,000, but I can tell you, I never like to see an expansion of volume period when you're going into swing points, but we'll see um, how it comes into that swing. Now, dollar index, okay? We go over to King Dollar. King Dollar out here, what is she doing? Now, she has dramatically lighter volume. What King Dollar is doing is this. She came down 40 ticks today. You're going uh, 18,000 contracts. We did 18... 19,000 yesterday. Well, she's going to need a lot more than that. We're going into 36,000 contracts. Uh, we are at 79.06. The swing low out there is 78.72, which is, you know, right around the corner, folks. Uh, that's the bottom line. Some of the uh, high volume stocks out here in a low volume market. We had Bank of America was flat. We had Citigroup up a buck 18. We'll go back to Citigroup because that is doing 100% move of a move, and it has, uh, well, we'll see what the, how the volume is. Wells Fargo is up 74 cents. We had JP Morgan Chase up 49. Uh, let's see. Marvell was up 32. Abbott Labs was down three. Uh, let's see what's happening. Why uh, well, Abbott Labs came off there. Man, she's come down with volume, too. Holy cow. So, uh, if, you, if you're in Abbott Labs, get out of the way, folks. Abbott Labs closed at 69, but she wants to go, well, that's not the end of the world. She wants to go out to 64. Uh, what she did do, uh, she had a spike on Monday, got to a higher high with no juice on Tuesday, and came off that high with monster volume. It came from 71 to, down to 68, um, just huge volume uh, all the way down. Apple. Uh, no, no, we already did Apple. Um, okay, let's go to J.P. Morgan Chase. J.P. Morgan, folks, uh, still hanging up there. No juice whatsoever, though. Um, J.P. Morgan is going to need a lot more juice in order to just hang at those higher prices. Citigroup. Now, Citigroup, folks, they can their CEO. The if we take a look at Citigroup, this is what you have set up here. The 100% move of a move is 38.39. Now, this is so wild. It's crazy, right? So check this out. We're at 38.43. So we're, we're over that level. Okay? It's actually 38.40. Now, this is this is a correlation. Let me put this on. I'm going to put this on a weekly so you can... Let's see how we're going to shake this and bake this. Okay. So, uh, we came... Up there last time, you had uh, 351 million shares, and then you couldn't handle the top with 251. Right now, we're at 273. That's for the week. So, you know, what can happen there, um, that can do the volume. We get two more days. Let's see, 273. Yeah, I can definitely do it. You get uh, 51 plus uh, 25. You get 75. You get 75 million. That can actually do the volume. Uh, because what you had out here today is that you did 68 million. So that could do the volume going into that swing. Now what you're going to do is that you bring that back because it also is coming into that downdraft. But, you know, yeah, hey, listen, we'll see how it takes that swing. Step by step, life is in cinch. There's no two ways about it. The uh, Let's see if eBay's come out here. Yeah, because eBay, folks, okay, uh, here she is. Okay, so eBay... Uh, the estimate was uh, 54 cents, come out with 55 cents. Uh, that is third quarter estimate. Um, fourth quarter estimate uh, looks like they may be a little light. The estimate was 68 cents. They are saying they see fourth quarter at 66 to 69. Uh, let's see what, what else they're saying. Okay, so let's see what the market's looking at. So she closed at $48.20. She is uh, at 46.41. 
So that's going to be a little problematic for the uh, three Qs again for the NDX100 because that does have a decent uh, weighting structure inside the NDX100. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We had the Dow finish up five. NASDAQ composite up 2.9. S&P's up five and a half. We're going to be right back.